Hello friends, it's Sonia here from Growing Craft and today I have this beautiful tea light video tutorial to share with you all. I have a few wooden planks around at my uh, place and I've been thinking of using them and making something best out of it. So this is what I did. I created beautiful tea light holders. So to start with, I'm applying a thick coat of gesso on my uh, plank and I'm going to cover my complete plank with gesso so that I can use any medium I want on it and I let it dry completely. Once my gesso has dried out completely, now I'm going to add color to it. So for this I am using shimmer paint and I've spread a water on my plank and then I'm spreading the colors just randomly. I don't want this to be a very specific uh, dark or a light shade, just a random color splashing I'm doing it here and there. Now when my color has dried out completely, it's time to add some texture to it and there's nothing better than using shimmer paste for this. I am using this dot stencil and I'm going to cover my complete uh, top portion of my uh, base with my shimmer paste. On the sides, instead of using the stencil, I am just uh, smudging the paste here and there and giving a rough texture look to it. Now I am going to add my adhesive to my white pebble stones and I am going to give it a nice mix. And once my paste is ready, I am going to apply it on the top layer of my base. I am just spreading it out with the help of my stapula and trying to cover up as much space I can. I love using this texture as it gives a really nice depth to your project. I have decided to use this pretty girl on my tea light holder. So now I am going to stamp it, emboss it and fussy cut it. It's time to add some colors to my pretty girl and I've covered the cutout with water and now I'm just spreading my acrylic base shimmer paints on the cutout. First I'm going to add a layer of tacky tape around my tea light holder at the bottom and then I'm going to add twine to it to level it up with my base.
now to attach tea light holder to my base i am going to use glue drop and cover it up with twine completely Now again with the help of tacky tape I am just going to fix up my twine so that it doesn't come out and last long. Now on the top portion of my tea light holder base I am going to stick my twine, my jute base, some dry leaves and a sentiment and complete this. I'm using different mediums to uh, stick my adhesive sentiments and embellishments and I'm also using cardboard pieces to it as different stuff needs different kind of mediums to stick it properly and save some time. To add a little drama to it, I'm going to use my chipboard pieces on the sides and I'll finish it up with stamping uh, on the corners and sides and my project is ready. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any queries, please do comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel.